It's 1977. I'm 14 years old. Serpentine Fire comes out. I'm in middle school. It's amazing. It's one of the best things ever. And ever since I've heard that song, especially when once I got into drumming and percussion, I was like, that is one of the best cowbells ever, right? It is, you guys. Serpentine Fire, Earth, Wind, and Fire, 1977. Let's do this. I'm going to break down the cowbell part for you. And I believe, I'm gonna, and I'm going to tell you why this is not only just a super funky cowbell part, but why it fits in the song so well. And there's something else harmonically that's going on there that's going to freak you guys out. It's going to blow your mind. So I'm going to break down the part. If you're not familiar with it, you should be. But check this out. Give it a little listen. I've, I've got them right here for you. I'll be right back. Check this out. I'm, I can't let too much play because then I get tagged for copyright infringement. Blah, blah, blah. Boo, YouTube. All right, but I'm going to play a beat for you guys. I got a drum machine beat. I'm going to play the cowbell to that. I wish I could play it to the recording, but I can't. Copyright. All right, let's do it. Um, well, maybe we'll come back to this later and give it another listen after I show you guys the beat and after I make my argument for why... It's so funky and why it sits in, in that mix so well. But if you haven't, maybe you should just go listen to it now and come back. I'll put a link below to the, you know, the YouTube, the official YouTube uh, version. Uh, and then you can go listen to it if, you, if you're not familiar with it. And then come back and resume this video or whatever. Do whatever you want. All right, so I'm going to play this beat and I'm going to play the part and then I'll break it down. And I'm going to level it up part of the way through because there's something going on there that's pretty cool. All right, let me turn my mic down a little. Let's get this beat going. And here's the cowbell part. So, we're using the closed end of the bell over here, and we're using the open side. Now, there's a few sides, there's a few open sounds, a few closed sounds in that. And there's something else that's happening. I believe it's two bells, actually. It could be one. I think it's two, and I'll tell you why in a second. Um, let me just break it down for you without the beat, and then we'll come back to it. I'm going to turn this volume down a little. So we're going to play one, two, three, four, dee, don, dee, don, da, one, and two, and three, four, one, and two, and three, four, one, and two, and three, four. All right, nothing complicated. It's not mysterious. Pretty simple beat. Da, dean, da, dean, dean, da, dean, da, dean, dean. But on beat four, and here's where it gets interesting, on beat four, I believe that there's another bell because it's a different pitch. It's a half step higher. Now, I did a little analysis for you guys, and in the recording, uh, it's basically an A. It's what's up, the note A is what, what's happening on the main bell. But then it jumps up to a B flat. It goes a half step higher on beat four. So I've got two bells here. I'm gonna approximate that. So these are not A and B flat, but this one is a little higher. Just a little. So what I think is happening is this. Let me put the beat on here. One, two, three, four. And I also, and I'm going gonna, I'm gonna to play this, actually, I'm going to use an ukulele here because I want you to hear it because what's happening, and this is, this is so crazy, you guys, what's happening, that's what makes it so awesome, um, is that basically the tonality right there is there's a, it's on C, it's on C, and in, in the song, it's on C. And what's happening is that because this cowbell 
is going back and forth between between A and B flat is it makes a dominant seventh. It makes a dominant seventh chord, which is amazing. It's so funky, it's so satisfying. It just adds a certain quality, a certain tension quality, and it, it's so perfect, you guys. I want you to go check it out when we're done here and see if you agree. And then if you do or you don't, put it in the comments. This is my argument. I don't know if anyone else has ever talked about this before. This is what I hear. So what's happening is... Okay, now I'm going to play the recording just a little bit more. Hopefully YouTube doesn't tag me. Let's go back a little. Uh, and we'll pick it up from... Well, let's go to the same spot, because you can hear it really well right in there. So this is just before the break. And uh, yeah, let's pick it up from the break. Here we go. Here we go. They're having so much fun there, you guys. Go watch the video. You do see a guy, but see, I, that whole video is lip synced. So I don't trust it. I don't trust any visuals that are going on in there. Um, if you listen, I think you'll hear two bells. You'll hear two pitches. And you do see somebody playing a cowbell for a second in the video. But I don't, I think it's all just lip sync. So um, what do you guys think? All right, are you, now for patrons, I'll have notation for you, but this is pretty simple. One and two and three, four. Uh, but I want you to go listen to it. I want you to try to hear the two pitches and listen for that. Ah, oh, it's so satisfying, you guys. It's so funky. And um, it just it just makes me so happy <laughs> to, to break this down for you all because it's been one of my favorite songs. I mean, Earth, Wind & Fire is one of my favorite bands. It Like I said, I was 14 when this came out. Just, we were all about Earth, Wind & Fire through middle school and into high school. You know, every dance, every party, it was just Earth, Wind & Fire and other bands. But Earth, Wind & Fire, thank you. Thank you for everything that you brought us. Seriously. So that's the cowbell part broken down for you guys. I'm Kalani. This is World Drum Club. Let me know what you think. Did I get it right? <laughs> Leave it in the comments. I'll have notation for patrons at patreon.com slash Kalani. Go out and play, man. Play something funky. All right, enjoy that. I'll see you in a future video. Thanks for watching.